What's going on you guys? Hey, if you want to catch more bass, especially if they're pressured or if your water temps are dropping, you're probably going to want to watch today's video. We're talking about the Ned Rig. More specifically, included in this month's Monster Bass box, if you picked it up, the KVD Perfect Plastics Ned Ocho. So we're going to be talking about that today. Talking about how to fish it, where to fish it, action to use, how to rig it. We're gonna to get to that here in just a second. If this is your first time stopping by the Monster Bass channel, consider subscribing. Smash that like, ring that notification bell so you can see when we post more videos. Our focus here is to show you how to fish the baits we include in the box every single month. So thanks for watching. Hey, let's get to this Ned Rig stuff. What is that all about? So today we're talking about the KVD Perfect Plastics Ned Ocho. This is a fantastic Ned rigging bait. It looks just like this. Check out this awesome blue highlight right at the tail. That's fantastic. So this is the black blue color. Love this color for darker water, stained water, muddy water, things like that. And there's a ton of different ways that we can rig this bait to help you be more successful. I wanna walk you through three of my favorites today, and then we're gonna test it out in the tank so you can see what that action will look like with each of these options. All right, so the first way I like to rig this is weedless with a mushroom style jig head. You can see this one's pretty beat up. I fish it on rivers a lot. This is a lifted jigs, extra wide gap. And so what we're gonna do with that, Texas rig it. Just take your bait, thick end is where the head of the jig is gonna end up. So we're just gonna thread it on, we're gonna punch it out the side, slide it up, and we just punch it out just a, a hair below the top, really. Thread your hook back through, bury the hook right there. So you got a straight profile, flush up nice with the head of the jig. It's gonna look like that. But now it's weedless, so you're less likely to get caught or snagged on different debris on the bottom of the lake or river you're fishing, right? That's what a Ned rig is typically going to look like on the bottom. So it's just kind of sitting up straight. You hop it around, a little slow descent, and again, it's just going to stand up straight, just like that. This next color is called Moon Juice, sort of a green pumpkin, blue pearl two-tone type color. I love this color. So the next way I like to rig this is with a straight shank hook to a mushroom head jig. You can go weed guard or no weed guard. That's up to you and whatever kind of cover you're pulling through. If I have semi-dense cover, I'm probably going with that weed guard just to make sure I don't get snagged on anything. If I'm more open water fishing with minor debris or none, I'm gonna go with that straight open hook. It's gonna help your hookup ratio. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna lay the bait right next to the hook Make sure that we know where it should be punching out. In this case, I'm coming out right at the bottom of this sort of ribbed section right there. So we're gonna go in with that green, which would be my top color, facing the jig. I'm gonna thread my hook down till I get my point to right at the bottom of that rib section. I'm gonna push the whole bait up over my bait keeper hook. All right, and there you go. Got that rigged up there. Got a little bit of stretch to this, which is nice. Gives a little bit more action. And you got that rib. The ribs on the side are gonna help that thing move a ton in the water. So next up, we have our open hook Ned. This is a tungsten, Wu tungsten jig. So that looks pretty good. I do think these stand up a little more easily than the uh, EWG style Neds, but still kind of gets the job done, as you can see right there. And that's in that moon juice color. Look at that. All right, my third favorite way to rig my Ned rig is to take either an offset worm hook, ideally a lighter wire one, maybe a little bit smaller, like a one-aught, or an EWG is a great option too. Both will work just fine, so work with whatever you got. We're gonna take our black blue in this case, and we're gonna thread her on, and we're gonna start it out like a Texas rig like you normally would. So make sure we're nice and center. We're gonna punch out just like a quarter inch or so. Take our hook. Punch it back into the bait, just a little bit higher up than you think. And we're just gonna bury it. So you can bury it right inside, that's fine. You can expose it a little bit. Basically, if anything bites this, that hook point is coming out, so you're fine. But this will make sure that it's weedless. And now we have this thing kind of Texas rig. So what are we gonna do with it? You could put a weight at the top and you can run just a really small Texas rig, that's fine. But what I like to do is I will take one of my favorite Ned weights. So we've got two options here. Got a nail weight, this is a Wu Tungsten nail weight. Then we have a Z-Man 
Nico weight, which is more of this bulbous point there, kind of looks like the top of a mushroom head jig, but there's no hook on it, right? And we'll take one of those. I'm actually gonna take my nail weight. I'm just gonna insert that nail weight into the worm. We're gonna shove it all the way up there, right up in there. And now what you end up having is what's called a tiny child rig. So we got a weight right down here in the tail. That's gonna make the weight drop like that and stand up on the bottom like this, but it's gonna be completely weedless. And this thing can punch through a lot of different heavier, denser cover. So when you're still dealing with finicky bass or pressured waters, you wanna throw something different. Throw something like this, that straight profile, it's gonna drop through just about any cover and you're still gonna get great hookups. Fish comes and bites this thing, that hook point's gonna come out, you're good to go, but you're not gonna get hung up on all the debris cover. Third favorite, just because it's the one I use the least, but still a great option to throw. So again, this is, there's a nail weight in the base of it. You can see where the line's coming up from that. And then we got an offset worm hook, or you could use an EWG as well. And it's gonna sit pretty upright. If you keep your line taut, it's straight up just like that. It's just gonna let you get into the super heavy cover. And this is again, that black blue swirl there. So you're gonna wanna rig this thing to a medium power or medium light or even a light power rod. I prefer a medium because I use braid as my backer and I'm fishing sometimes denser cover. So I want just a wee bit more backbone to the rod. So if I have to work on a heavier fish or work them out of cover, I can do so. It's just a preference thing. But medium to medium light, usually where you wanna be. I like a seven foot rod so that I can cast it a bit further. And then in this case, this is a Silverado Ducket. Uh, I'm also looking at a fast action tip. So fast action because you're gonna get subtle bites with this thing. So as soon as you feel it, as soon as, and this is very sensitive rod, which helps out a lot. You want that sensitivity. As soon as I feel that bite, I can simply lift up. I got that fish. I don't wanna, I don't need to work them in. I'm not worried about treble hooks popping off. So I don't need that moderate or slower action. I need fast action, even extra fast sometimes I prefer. So that's the case with the rod for the reel. Years ago, 2,500 size or smaller. In this case, we got the Shimano Sahara in a 2,500 size. Just a smooth reel, something that's easy to cast, flip, and do all sorts of things with and deal with the cover that I deal with. Usually we'll go with a braid backer, lighter, 10, 12, maybe 15 pounds at most, but high vis line so that you can see the line. I'm gonna throw on a leader in case the bass are a little bit finicky. It's actually not necessary. I fish straight braid most of the time, but if the water is a little more clear or the bass still aren't hitting that Ned rig, that's when I'll jump to a, a lighter fluorocarbon leader, usually like eight to 10 pounds for that leader, six to eight feet on it. That's gonna give me enough room where the bass, it's, it's invisible in the water. They're not gonna see it. Gives me a little bit of stretch. It's gonna help me play the fish in since it's a single hook in this case. Uh, and I'm gonna tie it on with a double uni knot. So that gets the job done. That's my favorite setup. I've been Ned rigging with that for a long, long time. And it's fantastic. All right, you guys, there you have it. That is the Strike King Ned Ocho, the KVD Perfect Plastic Spectacular. This is a fantastic finesse bait. You guys aren't throwing these around right now. Spring, fall, colder conditions, pressured bass, finicky bass you're missing out. It's a fun bait to fish, more fun than you would think. You're not always just dead sticking it. As I showed you in the tank, a few different ways to fish it that I prefer and different places that I'd be looking for fish with this specifically. But if you find them, especially if they're schooled up, stacked up, like they'll just keep hitting this thing. I've pulled 30, 40, 50 bass in a several hour span out of the water on a Ned Rig setup. So it's a lot of fun. Plus you're fighting them on like lighter tackle. So that in itself is a lot of fun. You guys are gonna like this. So check out this bait, again, the Strike King Ned Ocho. And if you guys got the November Monster Bass box, which by the way, there's still time. If you haven't, go order it. Uh, and by the way, save yourself some money, type in all caps, save 10 and take 10 bucks off your first box and you'll get this bait in that box as well. And then when you do go out and fish it and hey, if you get a second, stop by my channel on YouTube, Burly Fishing subscribe, drop me a comment, let me know that you came over from Monster Bass, and let me know if you fished the Ned Ocho and if you had any luck. I definitely want to know, and I wish you the best of luck catching some fishies. Thanks for watching today, guys. Be sure to subscribe to the Monster Bass channel for more tips, techniques, and tricks coming your way for the baits that we bring you every single month in the box from other great creators. All right, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you out on the water.